Hey there bosses, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you onto my computer and I'm gonna be showing you how to create a media kit in Canva very easily in under 30 minutes, okay? What is a media kit? A media kit simply is a document. I think about it as a creative resume. And so essentially, if you create online, if you are some kind of business owner that where the business revolves around you. This means you're a speaker, you're a coach, you are an influencer. Okay, Having a media kit is absolutely important because this is something that you can hand over to businesses and to brands that want to work with you. Now for me as a speaker, it's important that I have a speaker media kit because when people want to hire me to speak, I want to give them just one page that they can look at, they can get a quick intro of who I am, they can get some social stats they can also get my past speaking engagements and the topics I speak on now before you start creating your media kits it's important for you to sit down for about 10 15 minutes and really think about what you want to put on that media kit as you'll see when I show you it's important to have relevant sections so maybe for you as a YouTube creator you may want to put how many people watch your videos or you know maybe if you've ever worked with brands before you may want to share that if you've done review videos that got a lot of views you may want to share that for me as a speaker you'll see I highlight different things so depending on what your creative area is you're going to highlight different things nonetheless I think that if you are a creative entrepreneur you should have a media kit so let's go to the computer to check it out so here is my updated um, speaker media kit all right it's just one page and what I did was I went to Etsy and you can actually purchase templates for your media kit from Etsy. Another place you can go is Creative Market. But what I, you can purchase, right? So that's pretty simple. But I wanted to create something that was unique to me. So I just kind of came and then looked at um, some of the designs to get some sort of inspiration. So you can do the same thing. And then I went ahead and then created this one that I have here. So what we're gonna do in this video is recreate this media kit. Okay, so in Canva, you can go ahead and then just type in media kit. This way you're going to get like the right size that you absolutely need. So I'm going to go to media kit and then you can create a blank media kit. As you can see, Canva also has some samples, but we want to create something that's unique to us. So let's create a blank one. So like I said earlier, I went to Etsy to gain some inspiration, okay? And at this point, if you have brand colors, this would be a really, really good place to use them. I have Canva Pro, so I have an, a brand kit of colors. And so if you are somebody like that, if you have a brand kit of colors, you can definitely use your colors. Otherwise, like a good black and white media kit, you can never go wrong with that, right? So that's why I decided to create a black and white one. So what I did here was then to go into elements, okay? And then I chose this square right here. I'm going to make that into a rectangle and pull it up here. All right, all right. So now that we can go ahead and change to black. So click there, click that to black. All right, and then I'm going to put my name. So like I was saying earlier on, make sure that you know exactly what it is that you're making the media kit for. It makes it easier when you're actually creating it. So I'll type my name. So there we go, I've typed my name. I'm gonna change that color to white and then move it black into the black background, okay? Now, one of the things you can do at this point is you can definitely change the font. If you have, again, if you have specific fonts that you use for your brand, it's a good place for you to use it. I'm gonna change that to Playfair Display. I love to use that for my brand. And then I'm going to add more text. You can add a subheading. So let's do that. Okay, and I wanna type it here. So let me type writer and speaker first. Okay, and then we can move this up here, change the color again. Um, in this case, I want it to be a different uh, font. 
you don't want to use too many fonts um one or two fonts is is more than is more than enough actually some people may even say just use one font um but for the non-designers <laughs> i'll just say yeah and then i like to center everything so i'm a writer and speaker and that's who i am so my name and who i am so yours may be you know your name and then and i add my phd because it's relevant to <laughs> what i need to um portray so i added that but you don't need to add any titles okay all right so the next thing i did then was to go into elements again and then you're going to go into a thing called frames okay the beautiful thing about frames is that it allows you to frame a picture with a particular shape so if you if you clicked on um see all you see that there are different types of frames that you can use and actually just to make it fun maybe let's not do the circle i did the circle earlier on let's do this one right here that looks nice and slightly different right okay and then i'm going to go into uploads and i already have uploaded pictures because i create in the canva a lot i already have uploaded pictures here but i'm going to pick one of the pictures that i currently use for my headshot when i'm you know um giving people my bio and it's usually this one right here so i'm just going to drag that and drop that and as you can see the picture has taken the shape of the frame okay so you just drag like i'll do that again okay you have your frame you drag and drop the picture nice okay and then i'm going to write a really short intro here as you can see with this one i had a short intro here so let's do that so i went ahead and typed that intro um but what i'm going to do here i'm going to do a few things i'm going to first of all justify this so that it's not centered i'm going to make this a little bit um like that and probably even pull some text up the one thing about canva i don't like typing in canva um <laughs> um so if you are like that don't don't worry it's 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 like that with canva i'm gonna um put the text, the text down to about 14. let's bring and then one of the things that i always forget when i'm designing in canva is you can always if you click right here you can bring up your design to something that you can see so see that okay so we can see that and then i'm gonna push that <clears throat> there so now i have an intro and i might just make this picture a little smaller so that this text here looks more, it looks more even, right, with the picture. Okay, so now we've designed the top half of our, our media kit. Now, like I was saying earlier, make sure that you know exactly what you want to highlight on your media kit. I knew that I wanted to highlight my social stats. I wanted to highlight the places I've spoken before. I wanted to highlight my speaking topics and then also places where I have um, been a guest on a podcast. And then the last thing would be to leave my contact information. So I'm gonna put my contact information at the bottom. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go back and choose a shape. Again, I'm gonna go for the rectangle and I'm gonna make that much, much smaller here. Pull that down. Okay, make that black because again, that's the theme I was going for. Then I'm going to put an email, okay. And I think that if you have a branded email, even better. I just haven't set mine up for the Bold Biomed yet. So for now, I'm just going to put this there. And then I'm gonna put the link to my website in case they wanted to go check out more information. Then we're gonna reduce that text and then we can go back into our, um, our text selector, our font selector, and we can make that a different font. Uh, I wanna change the color to white and then I'm gonna pull this down here. So they have a way to get in touch with me. Then I'm going to create four different sections for the places, the, the, the aspects I want to highlight. And so again, I'm going to go for a shape, um, make that smaller. Let's bring that up here. 
Okay, and then I'm going to do this. And that's a nice thing. Another nice thing about Canva is you can just repeat a shape and you can just place that. So you don't have to create the shape over and over again. All right. And then the, I like that Canva also has these lines to make sure that you align everything. All right. Uh, for this one, I'm going to keep this, um, this kind of purplish dark purplish i'm not even sure what color this is but anyway so like i said i'm going to put in social stats we can make that white i don't want that to be the first thing i show okay it's a secondary thing so i'm going to put that there and then for the first one, you can increase the font here. And then I'm going to repeat this text again. But this time, I'll put that here. And then I'll call this Speaking Topics. All right. Again, I'll just repeat this. Bring that down here. And then put my past speaking engagements. And then I'm going to put my um, podcasts and media features. If you are doing this um, for, let's say, you know, influencer marketing, maybe this is the place where you put um the brands that you've worked with or if you haven't worked with any brands anything that just really helps to showcase the fact that you know you're legit go ahead and, and put that there okay all right so once you've created your sections and you know you have them nicely made then you go ahead and add in the text so again this is text i've already created so i can go ahead and copy and paste um, if you are creating this from scratch, one of the things that you can do, okay, is, you know, uh, Canva does have a, a few formatting tools up here. I'm going to make this a bulleted list, okay, and I'm going to make sure that it is justified. And then I'm going to type in my speaking topic. So I touch on personal branding for PhDs. Okay, so once you are done typing this again, we're going to make sure that it fits. The font is a little too large, so let me bring that down. Let's select all and then bring that down to about 14. Maybe let's see 16. Okay, that, that looks good. And then now I have my speaking topics under the speaking topics. Then over here under social stats, you can go into elements and then look for the first social media um, you want to look for. So I'm going to just type in LinkedIn here. Okay. And then one of, because I'm making this like very, you know, very basic colors, I'm just going to use black and white. Okay. So here we go. Here's one for LinkedIn. And, and usually, oh, I'm taking the wrong thing. Usually what ends up happening is that when you select a particular graphic, um for and under elements in canva canva will then pull up like more recommendations so let's let's look to see okay we don't see any other one let's say we want to put you two okay i'm gonna find one that is black and white just like the one i just picked for linkedin we'll get this okay so I always like to, again, size these to be the same. So when you're sizing it, you'll see that you see over here where it says W O nine H O nine. That's the width and height. All right. It's 0 0.9 by 0 0.9. So then I'm going to size the YouTube one so that it's the same thing. See that? So that it's nice and even. Okay, if I want for Instagram like that. So we will take that again. <laughs> and then size that and so at this point you can then put the numbers um you know your social media stat numbers so we'll just put something
if you have like if you're in the thousands you could definitely put like um 15k 20k you know just put a k and usually that's understood so now you've put your social stats it's looking good right it's coming together all right and then i'm going to go ahead and put uh, copy and paste my um past speaking engagements okay so i copied and pasted that from elsewhere and since let me make since this is about a front 13 i want to go ahead and make this closer to that. We want everything to look uniform, not, um, you know, so that people can see that you actually put thought into it. All right, and then my podcast and media features, making sure that that's also nicely centered. All of these are about 14 font have that if you have more speaking topics or whatever it is you want to put here you can do that and so there you have it you have this really nice media kit that you can begin to distribute um for whatever purpose you want to distribute it for and it took us just about 15 20 minutes maybe it will take you a little bit of time to type out exactly what you want to put here but within half an hour you really could go from no media kit to a media kit if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up below and if you're not already subscribed make sure to subscribe